let us discuss this very important remark. This remark says every uniformly continuous function is continuous, but every continuous function need not be uniformly continuous. The definition of uniform continuity we already we have discussed in previous videos. Okay. So let us discuss that example, okay, which is continuous, but it is not uniformly continuous. So here I define a function. We define a function define a function f from r u to r u r u that means r with a usual matrix d of x y is equal to mod x minus y and it is defined as defined as i will mention here defined as f of x is equal to x square okay so this function i have considered f of x is equal to x square first of all i will prove that yes it is continuous and after that, we will prove that, yeah, it is not uniformly continuous. Okay. So before that, what will I do? I will define a new function. So consider, consider G defines from RU to RU such that G of X is equal to X. So you know that it is identity function. G of X is equal to X. So it, it is easy to prove that it is continuous. Okay. So therefore, I can write here. It is, it is an identity function, identity function. So therefore, G is continuous on R, okay. So we can give its proof also using epsilon delta definition also we can easily prove that yes, it is continuous, okay. So what will I do? Now I'm going to consider our f of x, f of x. As you can see here, f of x is x square. So x square, that means I can write x into x, right? But x is nothing but g of x. So therefore, this is equal to g of x into g of x. So that means f of x is a product of two functions. Both of them are g of x. So we, one result we have already seen, if we have two continuous functions, then their product is also continuous. So here, g is identity function, hence it is continuous and we are taking product of two continuous functions here. So that's why we can say, yes, f is continuous on R. Here, f is product of two continuous functions, continuous functions. So therefore, therefore, f is continuous on R, okay? So one part is done. So we have proved that yes, f of x is equal to x square is a continuous function. Now we will prove that it is not uniformly continuous. Make a screenshot of it first, then we will go further. Now we will prove that f is not uniformly continuous. Okay. So for that, I have taken one epsilon and I have taken epsilon is equal to one, which is clearly greater than zero. What we have to prove, simply we have to prove that no delta works for this epsilon. Getting. So that means if you take any delta, epsilon delta definition of uniform continuity will not satisfy. Getting this thing we have to prove. So for that purpose, I have already taken let epsilon delta greater than zero be given. Okay. Epsilon, what is my epsilon? One and delta can be anything. Right. So now I will select two points x1 and x2. Let x1, my choice of x1 is delta by two plus 1 by delta and my choice of x2 is 1 by delta. So let us find first mod x1 minus x2. Let us find its value. So mod x1 minus x2, x, x1 is delta by 2 plus 1 by delta minus x2 is 1 by delta. What will happen that 1 by delta minus 1 by delta will get cancelled to each other. We will have simply delta by 2. Getting? There is no need of mod since delta and 2, both of them are positive, right? So delta by 2 is less than delta. That means what we get, we get mod x1 minus x2 is less than delta. Very important thing we have got. Now we will talk about f of x1 minus f of x2, okay? So now let us find the value of mod f of x1 minus f of x2, right? So definition says, you know that definition of f of x is x square. So it will be mod x1 square minus x2 square by definition of f. 
what is my x1 my x1 is delta by 2 plus 1 by delta square and x2 is 1 by delta that means 1 by delta square now we can expand this bracket you know the formula a plus b bracket square let us use that formula here so what will you get mod delta square by 4 plus 2 into delta by 2 into 1 by delta plus 1 by delta square minus this 1 upon delta square tell me can we cancel any terms here yes definitely this 1 by delta square minus 1 by delta square will get cancelled so this is equal to delta square by 4 this 2 to cancel delta delta cancel so we'll have simply one there getting and these two terms will get cancelled to each other so see this term we have got but definitely it is greater than 1 since all of them are positive no so obviously it is greater than 1 getting the point see so therefore what we get what we conclude mod x1 minus x2 here we are saying it is less than delta but what we are getting mod f of x1 minus f of x2 we are getting this is greater than 1 which is our epsilon getting since one value of epsilon is 1 so this is greater than epsilon so we get exactly opposite to the definition of uniform continuity Uniform continuity says if mod of this two is less than delta, then mod of their functions is less than epsilon. But here we are getting this is less than delta, but that second mod is greater than epsilon. So definition of uniform continuity is not satisfied. So therefore, I will declare f is not uniformly continuous function. So what we get f is continuous, but it is not uniformly continuous. So that's why our remark is true. Yes, every uniformly continuous function is continuous, but every continuous function need not be uniformly continuous. Make a screenshot of it, then we will stop. Thank you. Bye-bye.